Our second inductee tonight is Mark Hawking. Since UCCS joined the Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference in the mid-1990s, they have dominated the conference in the sport of men's golf. UCCS has won seven conference titles during that time and due in large part to players like Mark Hawking. Golf started as an RMAC sport back in the 1920s, men's golf did. And during our centennial celebration in 2009, Hawking was selected as one of the top five golfers in conference history. A member of the RMAC All Century Golf Team, Mark Hawking was the 2002 conference champion with a score of 11 shots under par. He led UCCS to its first two national tournament appearances in 2002 and 2003, and to RMAC championships in 1999 and 2003. When I started coaching um, 13 years ago, uh, the program had a handful of talented golfers already in the program. There were two or three guys that were pretty good. And Mark Hawking was actually my first ever recruit. I started doing some research on him and, and found some extraordinary things uh, about him. And at that point, I knew that this was someone that uh, was going to be vital to the success of our program and the success of my coaching career. I wasn't about to let Mark go. I, I stayed on him uh, and called him diligently uh, because he was getting Division I offers at the time. And, and lucky for me that I was able to bring a guy like Mark into our program and he go on to be ranked number one in the nation and uh, lead us to two uh, NCAA championship appearances. The first time I met Mark Hawking was actually at the Colorado Springs City Tournament and the kid came out and shot 64 and uh, I realized after the round that he had a separate iron from a different set uh, all the way through the bag, which for the golfers, that's a pretty, pretty drastic change. Today's golfer, today's college collegiate golfer, um, they have their own swing coaches. Uh, they have a mental coach. Everyone's chiming in, trying to get this young man further along faster than they need to be. When Mark was playing, it was all about working hard on your own. It was all about practicing, 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 playing, 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 um, uh, being tough, being a tough one. Well, I think Hawking took this team to another level. I mean, he, he transferred from junior college in Texas, um, came to uh, a small Division II school, and pretty much put us on the map for the program. I, I remember walking in his RMAC, championships and we're playing at a golf course it's it's really quirky golf course in the middle of nowhere and mark needed something i can't remember what he needed a band-aid or something and him and i walked in the pro shop and we overheard the pro the director of golf say to one of the guys behind the counter one there won't be one of those kids break par today you can guarantee that not the way i set up the pins so mark here's the story or, or here's the guy he uh, looks at me, I look at him, and we, go, we both say, great. So we walk out, we tell the team, hey, there could be some tricky pins, so be smart. Be smart, don't be overly aggressive, take a real good look at where the pin placements are. So tournament ends, Mark walks up, hands me his card, it says 64, and, he's, and, he, and he says, I want to go find that guy and say, here's your par, buddy. <laughs> I think Hawking was kind of a complete package he had all the tools that you needed from the mental aspect of the game. Obviously, he was physically talented, um, you know, from a golf standpoint, short game, long game. Uh, he was just all encompassed, all in one package. UCCS would like to congratulate Mark Hawking for his induction into the Hall of Fame Class of 2013 for Mountain Lion Athletics. Ladies and gentlemen, UCCS Hall of Famer Mark Hawking presenting him with his award, UCCS Head Golf Coach Phil Trujillo. It's not very often I get to give a speech, so I actually wrote something down here. Okay. Um, when I first learned that not only would I be, re be receiving this huge honor, but that I would also have to stand up here and offer a speech, I had to ask myself, how does one measure a life? 
How does one reflect upon the past and define it, cherish it, and honor it? Life is a string of memories, an endless timeline of experiences and recollections that tether the ever-lengthening past to the future unknown. Some instances and moments along the way stand out more boldly and serve as pinpoints from which all other memories and moments may be defined. Other moments, other reflections, they blur together along the timeline of life, serving to strand the string together, but failing to give it weight or substance. My time here, the memories of this place, and the people here that play out in my mind, those re recollections are not the blur. They are the memories most vivid. They are the moments that have framed out and given context to all the moments that have come after them. They have shaped my life and have given me immense meaning to the present. In 2003, my teammate John Olson and I won the Student Athlete of the Year Award. On the surface, and certainly at the time, this memory serves as an obvious, almost cliche choice for reflection but it is what was so much, it was so much more than that. That night I gave a terrible speech, which still haunts me today. Um, I just did not know what to say at the time. I was not able to comprehend what the moment meant or would mean to me. In hindsight, when given the chance to look back at my timeline, I, I know now what I could not have possibly known then that at that moment was one of the happiest times of my life. At that moment, I was part of and contributing to something much bigger than myself. It was not until just after that moment, after my collegiate golf career had come to an end, after I had left my teammates, my friends, my coach, the state I had grown up in to pursue a professional golf career, that I had realized how wonderful my life had been at the University of Colorado at Colorado Springs. The life of a professional golfer is a lonely one and for many reasons it left me feeling greatly unfulfilled. I never recaptured or came close to recreating emotionally what I have felt here at UCCS. Sometimes you have to attempt to move on from something before you can begin to fully realize how much it meant to you, and how good you had it. Having been a part of this team, having been given the opportunity to play here at UCCS, that was the true highlight of my golf career. Being invited back here, being recognized for what I was able to accomplish here, being able to see what UCCS has become in the 10 years since I have left, it feels like I am coming home, and it warms my heart. But these memories, I'm not going to lose it up here. <laughs> okay. I was pausing for effect. Okay. But these memories do not belong to me. For what I, but these memories do not belong to me. For what constitutes thoughts of the past but the people and the sentiment attached to them. To truly measure my life, to define what it was, what it has become, what it may have meant, is to cherish and honor the people who have shared in these memories with me. I would like to thank the university for selecting me for this honor and for putting together this event. Mostly, I would like to thank the university for paving the way for the golf program to be what it was and what it has become. I would like to honor Coach Trujillo and his 12 years of leading the UCCF, UCCS golf team. They are regularly ranked in the top 20 teams in the nation, and that is no small feat. Thank you for believing in me and giving me opportunity to play here. You, you taught me to believe in those that believe in you and I have carried that lesson with me over the years. 
to my parents, thank you for allowing me to pursue my goals and interests and for always being there for me. This moment, this night, will be another pinpoint on my timeline. As it unfolds, as I stand here before you humbled by your recognition of my time spent here, I am not entirely sure what this moment means to me or what it will mean to the people in my life. All I can offer is my most sincere thank you, a thank you for the recognition, and perhaps most importantly, a thank you for once again giving me a moment that will be sure to shape and give meaning to the future unfurling before me. Thank you.